Welcome back. This is what our CBS 6 newsroom looked like when the 2011 earthquake hit. This is surveillance video of one of our talented producers running. Scared probably because we didn't know what was going on at the time. We later learned it was a 5.8 magnitude earthquake. Two years today. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Two years. Yeah, and we're still getting shaking people. Even as of this month, yeah. we've had some aftershocks. And I think I may know the answer to this, but how likely is it that we could see another 5.8 or greater earthquake strike again? Not likely in our lifetime. Okay, now maybe our yeah. grandkids or their kids, they may see something similar in the mm. future. And let me explain. Behind us is the Central Virginia seismic zone. So I've highlighted the area and the bullseye, as you can see, impacts Louisa County, at least where we've seen the focus of most of our aftershocks. There was one major earthquake, as Reba mentioned, and there have literally been hundreds of aftershocks, many of which were what we call micro earthquakes. And so what happened, though, the most important piece with that one major earthquake is that all that tension, all mm -hmm. that stress that had been building buried underground right. in all these folded faults that are really, really old was released in that first earthquake. And so everything that's happened has just been really settling, so to speak. It's kind of like once you build a house and then it starts to settle for you and all the aftershocks we felt have been that settling. So the fact that we've seen so many of these aftershocks is a good thing. In fact, it's showing that the ground continues to settle, continues to have the release of the energy, but most of the energy was released in the first earthquake.